Hi there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the difference between the pochette double zip and the pochette accessoire. So let's start with the measurement differences. So this one is 20 centimeters across, 12 and a half centimeters height and three centimeters wide. Now the Porsche accessoire is slightly longer. It is 23 and a half centimeters wide, uh, 14 centimeters high. And although it says it's three centimeters wide, which is the same as this, you'll notice that this is one compartment, whereas this is split into two separate compartments. In terms of the main layout differences, you'll see that this one is a double zip with two compartments and a middle compartment. Uh, this one does have a bottom, so things will not fall out. And if you go into the two compartments, this one has uh, some cards that you can put in the back slip here. And this one is just a wide compartment. And if we look at the Pasha accessoire, it is just one large compartment and there is a slip to put receipts and cards. In terms of the straps, uh, I do have to mention to you here that this one actually came with a Vichetta strap, which is a shoulder strap. Uh, it's approximately 50 centimeters in length. Uh, what I've done is that I've actually replaced the strap because I actually prefer uh, the metal strap uh, for a couple of reasons because the Vichetta is not really good in the rain. I also find that it's slightly more decorative this way. And actually, I had ordered a crossbody chain to go with this bag so that I could also wear it crossbody, which is another reason why I don't use the pochetta strap. Pochette double zip comes with a gold chain. It can be worn crossbody and of course, as I mentioned in my last video, you can tie this so that you could use it more like a shoulder strap. So yeah, those are the main differences in terms of the layout and measurement of the two bags. So let's talk a bit about what fits. Um, so uh, this bag is relatively full. Uh, I haven't put my phone in here, but I'm just going to put that in there just to show you what that looks like. So what I have in here is basically my Chanel O case. And as I mentioned in my last video, I put cash and cards in there. I have my headset, my AirPods. And on this side, I have my phone, as I mentioned earlier. This is an iPhone Plus. And I also have a key clay. And I would say that is roughly the amount this will fit. I probably would not put too much more. Um, as I mentioned to you, the layout is actually quite thin uh, and it could stretch out the bag. What I find happens is when you stretch it out too much, you will know, notice a couple of, of wrinkles um, along here. Uh, it doesn't wrinkle the bag or anything like that, but it does look quite bulged. So let's move on to the Pasha accessoire. Um, so one of the major differences between the two in terms of putting things inside is that for this one, you can actually put a full size wallet. So this is the LV Emily wallet. It's quite thin. However, the length of it will definitely fit. So generally for small bags, I don't recommend putting in a full size wallet because you really want to maximize the space. So what I'll usually do is you can definitely fit in the O case that will not fit, that will fit, sorry, uh, no problem. However, generally for smaller bags like this, I may prefer to use a smaller wallet, such as the LV Zoe wallet. Fits no problem. Or I could use the Rosalie wallet, which is a compact card and coin holder, as you can see here. So just as an example, uh, let's pretend um, we're using the Rosalie, so that goes in there no problem. The Kike clay for my coins and my keys, no problem. Let's put in the headphones. Now my pack of tissues tends to be a bit thick, but this definitely fits also again, no problem. Um, my iPhone Plus definitely fits. No problem. So I still have some room 
and say for example if I want to throw in my sunglasses of course in a soft pouch I can definitely throw those in and I have a lipstick here that definitely will fit uh, tuck in so let's close this up tight so I would say this is kind of the max that would fit inside it is bulging a bit as you can see here at the top but on the side back on the side so maybe um, yeah I think the pack of tissues is stretching it a bit so if you have a smaller back pack of tissues that might help um, but otherwise the rest of that does fit or if you take out the sunnies, um, definitely that will also kind of fit the tissues a bit better. So it could close with the sunglasses, but as you can see, it's definitely a bit more conforming if you don't put the sunnies inside. So overall, my thoughts on these two bags. Both of them are very compact, uh, very convenient. I like that both of these are very lightweight. Uh, they are both grab-and-go grab bags. You can pretty much ma match both of these with any of your clothes. I like the versatility to be able to wear both of these crossbody and on the shoulder. It's very much grab-and-go. It will go with most of your outfits. Um, for this one, if you don't like the flowers on one side, there is a monogram on the other side. So I like both of them. And um, however, in terms of what fits more, I would definitely say this fits more. And I think it has to do with the width of the bag along the sides and along the bottom so in terms of uh, carrying more stuff I think this is very good however uh, not to say that this doesn't carry very much it does but you might have to be a bit more strategic and also um, because the width of this is actually quite thin uh, you could stretch it out a bit however you are um, constrained to carry not too many thick items. It also depends on what you want to use this for. So I know there are some people who go traveling who do prefer separate compartments. So for example, you might want to put um, your passport uh, or other important items on one side and then the other side you might want to put your phone and some other items that are more easily accessible and that way when you are um, getting your tissues or uh, your lipstick or whatnot, uh, you don't have to worry about things like your your wallet or your important documents or your your passport falling out so I think both of these are good um, but I think it also depends on whether you need that added security to have double zip and whether you like your things to be more organized not to say that you wouldn't be organized with this because it's not a huge bag so it's not like you open it up you can't find things however there are people who might uh, like the flexibility of a added zipper compartment However, both of these bags are good. Again, if I really had to choose one, I'd probably go with this. Uh, this one is definitely more expensive than this one. I don't know if it's due to the fact that it has the flowers on it and I don't know if they're gonna release one that doesn't have the flowers so it could be cheaper I know this also comes in on prompt leather however um, for the purposes of this video um, I did only purchase the monogram one so in terms of price point this one is uh, not double but definitely a lot more than this one and based on what I use it for which is just basically to run down to get coffee or to run downstairs to run a quick errand or to quickly drop by the supermarket to go pick up something. Uh, definitely both of these suffice and both of these are very convenient. I know for sure that in the last two years that I've owned this bag, uh, it has been easily one of my favorite bags. It is very convenient. It's very light. I don't have to worry about scratches. I don't have to worry about where I'm setting down this bag and whether I would get scuffs or scratches on it. Uh, so far, I haven't really had uh, much wear on this bag. It still looks as new 
as the day that I got it. And trust me when I tell you, I really abuse this bag. I throw it in my knapsack, I throw it on chairs, I throw it on table. It's not that I'm abusive against my bags, but I, I use, I'm careful, but I'm not abusive. There is some fichetta here, however, um, it has, um, kind of uh, turn color a bit but it's very minimal and you really don't notice it so this is my comparison for the two bags I hope you have found this useful and hope it helps you to understand both of these bags better and to help you make better choices in your bag choices if you've liked this video um, please hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. I try to do videos more often because I'm hoping that these videos can be useful for you. So if you like the vid this video and if you found it useful, please like and subscribe and I hope to have more reviews for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below uh, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So have a fantastic day and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye now.